Who? And the box is burning. Today, I'll be making my favorite bottle and bond into an old fashioned. Let's go. Today, I'll be making two more old fashioned cocktails. Both will be part of the KISS series. The Still Austin Red Corn Bottle and Bond is such a fantastic pour, I just keep going back to it. Every time I pour another sip, I just fall in love with it again and again. It just keeps on surprising me. You keep surprising me. Now, I did a review for this, and if you have not seen that review, I will leave a link for it right here. But I have to say, since doing that review, I keep going back to this, and I keep tasting it again and again. So I'm so lucky that I did find a backup for it. Well, I have not quite figured out if it's the Heirloom Jimmy Red Corn or something else that gives it so many different flavors on my palate. And it feels like the more that I sip it, the more of those flavors that keep surprising me. Cocktail quiz time. Is corn a vegetable, fruit, or grain? This is trickier than you think. Now, I want to do a simple traditional old fashioned just to do this justice. And give us justice. Then I would like to try another one that highlights the corn. The funny thing with that is, it made me go down a corn rabbit hole. So if everything goes as planned, you will soon see a few corn inspired old fashioned recipes. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in unique corn inspired old fashioned recipes or do you have a corn inspired old fashioned that you can share with us too. Let's get started with Still Austin Red Corn Old Fashioned. Two ounces Still Austin Red Corn Bottle and Bond. Quarter ounce brown sugar simple syrup. Two dashes of orange bitters. All right, so let's start making our Still Austin Red Corn Old Fashioned. Now I'm gonna be using the new bottle here so we can do this. So in a mixing glass without ice, we're gonna be adding a quarter of an ounce of this brown sugar simple syrup. So it's just a touch. And I like the brown simple sugar because it does highlight a lot of the flavors that you'll find in this bourbon. Next, we're gonna add two dashes of this orange bitters. Next, we're gonna add the two ounces of this still Austin red corn bottle and bond. Ooh, love that sound. Oh, that sounds lovely. Now let's add some ice. And we're gonna stir this until chilled. You don't wanna over stir because you don't wanna over dilute. Now we're gonna strain this into a glass with a large ice. Beautiful. So there it is, the Still Austin Red Corn Old Fashioned. Now we're gonna go on to the making the second drink. I'm gonna call this the Jibby Red Corn and I Don't Care. So the ingredients for this are two ounces of Still Austin Red Corn Bottled and Bond, half an ounce of Corn on the Cob Simple Syrup, one dash El Wapo Chicory Pecan, one dash of Fee Brothers Whiskey Barrel Aged, baby corn for garnish. All right, so let's start making the Jimmy Red Corn and I Don't Care Old Fashioned. In the mixing glass, we're gonna be adding a half ounce of this Corn on the Cob Simple Syrup. Now I will have the instruction on how to make this in the description below. This is what started me on that corn rabbit hole. So you'll be seeing this in future videos. I'll be back. Now I'll be adding one dash of this El Wapo Chicory Pecan. We're, gonna be, we're also gonna be adding one dash of this Fee Brothers Whiskey Barrel Aged Bitters. Now the Fee Brothers Pecan will help bring out the marzipan flavor and the barrel aged should help with a little bit of smokiness that I want with that corn. Next we'll be adding the two ounces of this Still Austin Red Corn Bottled and Bond. I love the smell of this bourbon. Now we're gonna add ice. And we're gonna stir until chilled. And we're gonna strain into this glass with a large ice cube. And what I'd like to garnish with one of these baby corns. It was baby corn. And there you have it. The Jimmy Red Corn and I Don't Care Old Fashioned. Cocktail quiz time. Is corn a vegetable, fruit, or grain? Well, corn is considered a starchy vegetable similar to potatoes, but its kernels are considered grains. But one of the less known corn facts is that it's technically also a fruit because it comes from a seed of a plant. It's time to taste these drinks. So here on the left, we have the Still Austin Bottle and Bond Red Corn Old Fashioned. And here on the right, we have the Jimmy Red Corn and I Don't Care. A few little differences, so let's start with the basic one. Yeah, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Just highlight the bourbon. What you do taste up front is a little bit of that bourbon. It goes to your mouth and then you hit a little bit of hit into that bitters. And you do have a little bit of that sweetness towards the end. Now I only added a quarter ounce of the simple syrup because I didn't want that to be a big part of this. But I think I did a good job of making sure that the bourbon was highlighted in this. Definitely a good drink. 
the Jimmy Red Corn and I Don't Care. With this one, we did change it a lot. I added a corn simple syrup, so a corn in the comfort simple syrup, and then I added hickory bitters to highlight some of that nuttiness that you're gonna have in this bottle. And I also added a bourbon aged bitters because why? Who? All right, sorry about that. I had a minor emergency in the house I had to go take care of. Now we're back. We are back! So now we're gonna finally taste this. Let's see what this tastes like. So on the nose, you do notice that smokiness and I do smoke corn, so I'm kind of excited to try this. Okay, if you like corn, this is a very corn forward drink. Me so corny! With the corn simple syrup, it does add a lot of corn to this. You could cut that back if you don't want as much corn in the drink, but I kind of like it. I like that I smell the corn with a little, mini, you know, with a little baby corn on top, and then you taste the corn as you get it, and then you do taste that bourbon right in the middle, right in the middle of that tongue, and then at the end you do get that smokiness from the bitters. One thing I didn't do, I didn't highlight the nuttiness. I don't taste more of that nuttiness that I thought I was gonna taste by adding that hickory bitters, but that's okay. It's still a very good drink. I am more than halfway to a thousand subs. And with that, I wanna do a big giveaway to match the special occasion. Now, I kept trying to figure out what would be the best bottle to give away. I went through a lot of ideas and it finally hit me. Then it hit me. Everybody is always hunting Buffalo Trace products. So here it is. I'm gonna give away an E.H. Taylor small bat. Hmm? I know, I know, that's not what you're expecting. So, I'm also gonna be giving away an E.H. Taylor straight rye. How does that sound? What? Still not impressed? Okay, okay. So then I'm also gonna give away an E.H. Taylor single barrel. That's right, that's right. When I hit a thousand subs, I'll be giving away all three of these bottles to a lucky winner. So make sure to hit that sub button as to not miss out. So if you made it this far, congratulations. I really appreciate your dedication. So, because of this, it's time for a bonus drink. So I'm gonna move these to the side and we're gonna make a bonus drink just for you. In this bonus drink, I wanted to honor this label. Now, each label was designed by internationally acclaimed artist, Mark Buckhart. This label has a red snake with a prickly pear cactus on it. That image inspired me to make this old fashioned shot. I'm gonna be calling this shot a red snake bite. With this, we're gonna be doing half an ounce of prickly pear snake bite simple syrup, one to one and a half ounces of stale Austin red corn bottle and bond, two to three dashes of Bitterman's Hellfire Habanero Shrub. In a glass, I did add one and a half ounces of our stale Austin bottle and bond to let it chill with the large ice in it. Chill, all right? Just chill it. I'm gonna set that aside for now. We're gonna add the prickly pear snake bite simple syrup. I will have the instructions on how to make this in the description below, but it is prickly pear with a nice little snake bite of jalapeno pepper in it. I originally said I was gonna use a quarter ounce, but because I feel like this is a bigger glass, I am gonna use a half an ounce. Now I'm gonna pour in the chilled still Austin bottled and bond. And on the top, we're gonna be adding some of this Bitterman's Hellfire Habanero Shrub. You can see the beautiful bottle and the little heat that we're gonna to add to it. You can add more if you want, just depending on how much heat you want from this. And there you have it, the red snake bite old fashioned shot. Down here in South Texas, we like to do a little saying as we take our shots. So I'm gonna demonstrate that really quickly. We go para arriba, para abajo, para centro, para dentro. And that's when we take our shots. So let's go ahead and do that this time. Here we go. Para arriba, para abajo, para centro, para dentro. Wow. Perfect shot. It was a little bit of a big shot. That's what she said. But very good shot. Did what I wanted to do. I wanted to taste the bourbon. I also want to taste a little bit of the prickly pear snake bite. And it did the thing I wanted to do is add a little bit of heat at the end. I want you to start with the comments below with red snake bite. That way you know you made it this far. Thank you again for joining me on another journey down the old fashioned rabbit hole. I hope you liked that bonus. But here we go. Until our next journey, my friends. Cheers.